We picked the best office chair headrest at every major price point. We switched it up a little bit. Instead of picking one chair, we actually picked three. Greg, myself, and Robert each have a pick and we're all different heights, 5'9", 6 foot, and 6'2". Let's get into the list. So at $300, our first price point, Ryan, what do you have? Uh, for me, this is a no-brainer. The Clatina Millette uh, it has an amazing headrest. I'd consider it one of the best headrests I've seen for almost any price. Really cush, two-way adjustability. It's big, supportive, so that would be my pick, the Clatina Millette. Yeah, that one's pretty easy for me, too. I think at $300, it, that thing is like better than the chair itself. Right. It's the most comfortable part of the chair. It really is good quality for $300, and it's got good softness, good upholstery, good range, so you really can't beat it so i'm going with the clatina millette as well so i kind of figured that the guys were going to pick the clatina millette because that it's an obvious pick for under 300 dollars. so i went outside the box with the aeron atlas headrest so you do have to have an over a thousand dollar chair to start and then add this headrest for 190 dollars. so it's not cheap but you're getting the same mesh that you get on the aeron super premium looking it's a very comfortable headrest that um, all three of us rated really high when we did our headrest tier list. I mean, technically, That's we said cheating. I think we technically we did say best office chair headrest. So we that did. Works. Yeah. Man. <laughs> you just okay. need to then pony up another, depending on which one it is, yeah. like a thousand, fourteen hundred. You get bucks. an Aeron Classic yeah. for like six hundred bucks. Boom. Yeah. Save a little money. <laughs> okay. All right. So at $500, Robert, what do you have for us? I went with the branch ergonomic chair. So the branch chair has a really nice wide headrest. You can kind of move around a little bit and your neck is still going to hit a nice soft spot. You're not going to hit the frame on this headrest. It also stays out of the way when you're sitting up straight, which I like. And then when you recline, you just kind of fall back right into the right position. So I like that in a headrest. It's there when you want it, not there when you don't want it. And I also really like the look of this headrest. So it kind of completes the look of the chair, the frame, the mesh. It just matches the rest of the chair really nicely it's an interesting pick i would go with the realm of thrones chair for under 500 dollars. really unique chair not on a ton of people's radar but it's a huge headrest i found it to be pretty comfortable it's got good adjustability suspension feeling so it's comfortable for me so that'd be what i would go with if you really want the best headrest yeah, that was a surprise for me, that pick from you. But I agree, though, because I was the first one to unbox and get the impression of that product, and I thought that was probably one of the best-selling features on it. I'm going to go with something that I think no one would expect, and it's a Secret Lab Titan. And I I like that headrest a lot. It's actually my favorite part of the chair. If I think if that chair, if they did a better job making it softer so the rest of the experience kind of felt like the headrest, it could be a real winner. I really like this, though, at home because I don't tend to use – a headrest like I would on this chair at the office, but if you get in recline mode, you're consuming content online, it's comfortable. The quality of it's good too, so for 500 bucks, that's where I'm at. Are you talking the backrest headrest or the pillow? The pillow. Or both combined? Yeah, the pillow. Okay. Just the, the pillow, yeah. It, you it. sink into it. It's The the pillow's comfortable. I like it a lot. Yeah, the pillow's nice. So Soft. It has the nice magnet too, so it kind of slides to the position if you move around in the chair. All right, $700, Robert. So I went with the OM Yes chair. Now this has a three-way adjustable headrest and it also in a way has an additional adjustment because you can adjust the back height. So that helps you uh, get it even more positioned into wherever you want it. So it has a nice kind of little bit of pad on it that slides up and down. So you can kind of get it right where you need it to be. Stay out of the way when you don't want it, but then right there when you need it, when you want to recline in the chair. I actually have the same exact pick as Robert. I had a tough time finding a a really good one that could compete with the Yes chair. It's just hard to beat it because of the three-way adjustment. I also like that it's not super curved so that you have to use it in the curve of your neck. It's got a little bit more of a flatter design, so you can use it on the back of your head if you want or the back of your neck. So really versatile, and it should fit most people. I think it's pretty comfortable. This is interesting that we all picked it, but then when you look at sort of the landscape of what's out there, it's not that surprising. But it's also one, if you're on a tight budget, you can actually spec this chair pretty close to 500 bucks with the headrest too. So it could have fit in that spot, which again, depending on your budget, that might be a good option. So yeah, definitely. Thousand bucks? Arguably the hardest yeah. price. I mean, requirement here was that you pick something. Otherwise, I probably would say don't. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I picked something just because we had to, but honestly, I'd probably go either up or down, yeah. no budget, or go down to $700 because I think those options are better. So I went with the Vantam chair, and I think I, maybe some people are going to have a hard time with this because of the price point, again, being a grand. The headrest is one of the things I actually liked about that chair. 
and it fit me right. I could use it in a recline mode. I could use it upright. It feels cheap though. So it's like, it's tough at a thousand bucks, but it is in my opinion, kind of the best option right now out there. I would have to go with the ergo human chair, but I'm in a very similar boat as Greg, where I, I don't love my pick for the price that you're paying. I would probably go up or go down. I think the Ergo Human headrest is good. It's supportive. It has good flexibility. It doesn't always hold its position great. And in order for me to get this pick under $1,000, I had to go with the all mesh version. And I really dislike the mesh seat. So if you are considering this price range, I would probably suggest bumping up a little bit to at least get the leather seat with the Ergo Human because that's a, a really comfortable combination, but that's going to break the rules for being under a thousand bucks. This is just a hard range to pick, but for me, it's the Ergo Human headrest. Yeah, just repeating the same thing. I, I sat and I looked at our big pool of chairs and I'm like, what chair would I pick? out of here and, and I had a really hard time I landed on the same one as Ryan I, I'd go with that leather which is just a tad over a thousand dollars but it has a nice uh, pad to it it does have height adjustment kind of fits in that crookier neck uh, what I do like too is that it is one headrest that if I'm sitting upright it's kind of right there which normally I don't like that but it's not an uncomfortable pushing forward it's just kind of always supporting you right there sitting upright and then when you recline back it, it fits nicely in, in that curve of your neck but still I, I probably would be the same with you guys and I probably would just save up a little get a, a step up on a chair or I would um, go for one of these chairs at a lower price point. I just didn't want to pick the same chair twice in a row but truthfully my pick for under a thousand would probably be the yes chair again. No budget all right we got to have different picks here what do you got Robert? So this is one that uh, I'm very much on my own with picking this chair, I believe, and that's the human scale freedom. So this headrest is very different than a lot of headrests on chairs where it does kind of push your head forward while you're reclined in it. Looks really uncomfortable, but for me personally, I think it is very comfortable and it, it allows you to continue working while you're in a reclined position. It kind of puts your head forward so that your eyes can continue looking at your screen. Another chair I really liked at this price point or at no price point essentially is the Cosm. But the problem with the Cosm is, is even though it's very comfortable, I love how it feels uh, reclined, is your head just gets tipped up and you're just kind of looking at the ceiling. So I love the freedom because yeah, it does allow you to continue working. It matches the chair really well. I think it completes the look of the chair. So uh, it's not going to be cheap, but uh, fully loaded. We're, we're probably over $2,000, but I love that freedom. It wouldn't be my pick, but a lot of people do like the chair. <laughs> wouldn't be my pick <laughs> either. Each their own. What do, I, what's your pick? Well, I mean, just to talk about that freedom real quick for me personally at six feet tall, I found that that was best in halfway reclined. It's really weird, but like I like it halfway reclined, fully reclined. It's a neck crinker. So anyways, no budget. I've got the neutral posture 8,000. It's my S tier of S tiers. Was that God tier? I think it's God. It's the ultimate of ultimates. <laughs> and I think the reason for it is, feels quality. It's big. It will fit literally everybody that fits in the chair. You can swing it completely out of the way. You can have it go up against the back of your head, in your neck. I mean, it's just, it's so versatile that it's really hard to beat. I haven't seen anything out there. That includes the gesture. I don't, I don't think that the gesture is as versatile as the Neutral Posture 8000. No, nothing is as versatile as that headrest. It's also my pick. So I believe the Big and Tall chair from Neutral Posture has basically the same headrest. So yep. either one of those headrests would be my pick. You're getting really good padding, so it's comfortable to lean against. Unlike some mesh chairs, it'll pull your hair, be uncomfortable. It's big, so you can use it in a variety of positions. And I also love how it articulates. So you can put it in front of the backrest, you can put it lined up with the backrest, you can move it completely out of the way, you can make it super tall, super short. The adjustment range is incredible and it gives you a ton of versatility. So in my opinion, it's by far the best headrest that I've seen. All right, so let us know if there is a chair that you think we missed that you're currently using that has a better headrest at any of these price points, especially a thousand yes. bucks because Big miss there. All right. Thanks for watching.